Hi guys, Mr Lee's doing the factorising and algebraic expressions uh, worksheet that you were asked to do recently. If you haven't uh, downloaded it, you could maybe pause the video if you can see these and have a wee go at them. Okay, so assuming we want to move on, here we go. So the first few are common factors. So 25C plus 10D, 5 comes out as a common factor, it's the biggest, highest common factor between 25 and 10, and there's no letters that we can take out because they're both different. So 5 comes out as a common factor, that times that has to give 25C, so that must be 5C, and that times that has to give 10D, so it's 5 times 5C plus 2D. Let's have a look at number 2. So we have xy plus yy, that's y squared. So we can take y out as a common factor. So y times x gives xy, and y times y gives y squared. So that's number two done. If you look at number three, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So that's 2 pi r r plus 2 pi r h. So we can take 2 pi r out as a common factor. And what goes in the bracket? 2 pi r times r, 2 pi r squared, and 2 pi r times h gives you that. So that's that one done there. Number four is what we call a difference of squares. Difference, take away, that's d squared, and that is 6 squared. So the answer to this one is d takes 6 times d plus 6. d times d gives d squared. d times plus 6 gives plus 6d. Take 6d, the d's cancel out. And minus 6 times plus 6 gives minus 36. It's sometimes worth multiplying out your answer to make sure you get the question. Then you can be reasonably sure you factorise it. Number 5, 49 take w squared. Similar to question 4, 7 sevens give 49. W times W gives W squared. One's a minus, one's a plus. Hopefully you're getting good at that now. How about number 6? 225, well that's 15 times 15. Hopefully you know that. 49k squared is 7k times 7k. One's a takeaway, one's a plus. Okay, let's move on to question S7 now, where we have S squared plus 12S plus 36 to factorise. So, S times S gives S squared, plus 6 times plus 6 gives plus 36, and plus 6 add 6 gives plus 12. That's how these work. So, it's S plus 6 times S plus 6. Let's have a look at number 8, go down the way. So, we want two numbers that multiply to give 28, but add to give 11. 4 sevens give 28, plus 4, add 7, gives plus 11. And there we have it there, x plus 4 times x plus 7. Question 9. Q squared take 11q plus 10. So we want two numbers that multiply to give 10, but add to give minus 11. Minus 1 times minus 10 gives positive 10. Remember, a minus times a minus makes a plus. And minus 1 add minus 10 gives minus 11. So that's that one there. Q take 1 times Q take 10. Let's have a look at question 10. B squared take 4B take 5. So it, numbers have to multiply to give minus 5 but add to give minus 4. Minus 5 times plus 1 gives minus 5. Minus 5 add 1 gives minus 4. So that's that one there. B take 5 times B plus 1. Question 11. S squared plus 2S take 24. So numbers that add to give, multiply I should say, to give minus 24 and add to give positive 2. Positive 6 times minus 4 gives minus 24. Positive 6 or 6 take 4 gives 2. There we have it there. Okay, and probably the most difficult one is question 12. And what makes it difficult is that we have a 6 in front of the y squared. Okay, so we have to have two things that multiply to give 6y squared. Two things, two numbers that multiply to give you plus 3. But when you multiply it all out, you want plus 11 in the middle. Now, just uh, so as you can see, here are all the options that you could have chosen there. The two things multiply to give 6y squared. 6y times y, 6y times y, 3y times 2y, 3y times 2y. And you can alternate the plus 3, plus 1, 
plus 1 plus 3. So these are all the options of expressions that multiply to give 6y squared and the last two numbers multiply to give a plus 3. Okay, 6y squared there and plus 3 there. But only one of them is going to give you a plus 11 in the middle there. You can see it there. So 6y squared plus 6y plus 3. This will give you plus 9y. That's not good enough. 6y squared plus 18y plus 1y. That's going to give you plus 19y. It's not what we want. 6y squared plus 3y plus 6y. That's going to give you plus 9y. No, we're looking for plus 11y. And of course, the one that's the answer. 6y squared plus 9y plus 2y gives you plus 11y. And there we have it there.